He is a businessman and billionaire from Ukraine, currently the wealthiest man in Ukraine. He is the founder and president of System Capital Management. He was ranked as the 607th richest person in the world as of June 2022 and is considered worth 4.5 billion US dollars. He's also owner and president of the Ukrainian soccer team Shakhtar Donetsk. Moreover, he represented the party of regions in the Ukrainian Vukovna Rada from 2006 to 2012. But where did it start? Renat Agmetov was born in Donetsk, Ukrainian SSR, on September 21, 1996 to a working-class family. He's a Sunni Muslim who belongs to the Volga Tatar ethnic group. His mother, Nyakia Nazredinovna, worked as a shop assistant, while his father, Leonard Agmetov, was a coal miner. He is currently married to Lilia Nikolaevna Smirnova, born in 1965. Together, they have two sons, Demir and Almir. In 2001, Agmetov graduated with a bachelor's in economics from Donetska National University. But how did he become the wealthiest in Ukraine? In 2022, Akhmetov's net worth was projected to be $4.5 billion. However, there's still debate over Akhmetov's origins, how he became wealthy when Ukraine's communism fell, and his actions between 1985 and 1995. So, what business propelled him into being the billionaire he is today? Truly, the primary source of Akhmetov's wealth comes from System Capital Management, the largest diverse corporate company in Ukraine. It's a significant Ukrainian financial and industrial holding firm, founded in Donetsk in the country's east in 2000. It has its headquarters there as of 2014. The company was established in 2000, and by 2011, the company had almost $19.5 billion in revenues and assets, worth more than $28.4 billion in 2011. It comprises more than 100 companies in various industries, including telecommunications, media, real estate, banking and insurance, mining and manufacturing of metals, and power generation. Approximately 200,000 individuals work for SEM firms as a whole. The largest entity in SEM group is Metinvest, a mining and steel firm. It is among the largest privately held companies in Ukraine and among the top steel producers in Europe. Moreover, it is the biggest producer of iron ore in Ukraine. Metinvest also has holdings in the US, Italy, UK, Bulgaria, and Switzerland. The second largest company is the coal mining and power generating company DTEC, which was established in 2002. Other businesses included those in various social sectors and those in the energy industry focused on science. Moreover, SEM operates a bank and an insurance firm. SEM's Vega Telecom Group is a fixed-line company in the telecommunications industry. Two examples of the group's media interests include the Daily Segodnya and Ukraine Media Group. The group doesn't stop there, they're also invested in real estate. It owns two five-star hotels, one in Kyiv and one in Donetsk. Assets in heavy engineering, clay production, transportation, agricultural and retail enterprises are also included in the SEM Group. And as always, a company will always have some highs and lows. So, what are some of the business challenges Renat is tackling? In compliance with current regulations in the nation to limit the influence of oligarchs, Renat Agmetov, the wealthiest man in Ukraine, declared that his investment company SEM would leave Media Group Ukraine. The move, which was applauded by the office of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, would see Media Group Ukraine hand over to the government its licenses for TV and print media and end its online media operations. Despite being the most significant individual investor in the Ukrainian economy, he consistently declared that he is not an oligarch and never will be. The billionaire stated that the Russian invasion and a six-month limit imposed by anti-oligarch legislation for the sale of media assets prevented SEM from selling its media business on market terms. The presidential advisor Mikhailo Podolyak described Akhmetov's presentation as proof of the beginning of a new page in relations between the state and business, despite critics dismissing the law as purely cosmetic. Late in 2021, Zelensky claimed that Akhmetov was being coerced into a coup against him by the Russian government. However, the billionaire dismissed this claim as untrue. And what about his philanthropy trait? How generous is he? As part of the implementation of its corporate social responsibility program, 
SEM Holdings established the foundation for development of Ukraine. It is a non-profit organization that was initially founded by Renat Akhmatov on July 15, 2005. Utilizing the foundation's accomplishments and extensive international philanthropic experience, the Renat Akhmatov Foundation aims to assist Ukrainians and create chances for them to improve their lives for the benefit of tomorrow. For many years, the foundation has been putting large-scale projects meant to give systematic support to public health care into the program Renat Akhmatov Saving Lives Framework. In February 2020, the foundation developed the Fighting the Pandemic in Ukraine project as part of the Renat Akhmatov Saving Lives program. Renat Akhmatov invested 500 million rubles in combating the pandemic. This is the largest donation made by a single individual to Ukraine's public health care system since the nation's independence. In the end, no matter how generous he is, he will surely spend some of his money on enjoying life. So, how does he spend his money? What kind of lifestyle does he have? He is the owner of the $213 million most extensive apartment in the globe. Agmatov intends to spend an extra $92 million to personalize further his priceless, opulent mansion, which is currently furnished. The apartment is in the affluent Knightsbridge, London neighborhood and one Hyde Park. The opulent apartment accommodates six bedrooms and six and a half baths. The home also features bulletproof glass and security provided by former British Special Forces troops. Among the other amenities are a 21-meter swimming pool, saunas, a gym, a golf simulator, and a special basement entrance to Heston Blumenthal's restaurant. He also owns a registered P4 RLA Airbus A319 corporate jet through System Capital Management. He seems to enjoy life to his fullest. Anyway, what did you like the most about him?